Okay, so the question is on how to reduce um, cravings uh, such as uh, the, from the head or just the stuff that comes up from the head. And, um, you know, for example, being affected by whether someone validates me or not, or I get a rejection or a validation. Well, uh, if it's a specific thing like that, you can go into the specifics and can't cancel them. I cancel, I cancel my craving for validation. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my version of rejection. I'm an infinite being because uh, uh, you're, the truth is you're an infinite being. Uh, you're not an aversion to uh, whether someone uh, rejects you or you're not an, an attraction to needing a, a validation from someone, that's not the truth of what you're seeking. Cancel those. You are the infinite. And that that would make and that is the truth. So that will help you to delete those ideas of wanting to get that validation craving uh, fixed and also the aversion to uh, rejection, to uh, uh, delete that to dualistic response to the to the data in the world. Um, that's one way you could cancel it out. Um, if you if you use the field of feelings, which is uh, allow allow those emotions to be there, but don't label, detach from the story of uh, valid, you know the you know well if say rejection is coming up as a feeling, you don't need to make a story or go into thoughts about what it means. Uh, just refuse that. Don't even identify with thoughts and just let the energy evaporate off. And then you'll find that the, the, these things, whether people validate or reject you, becomes uh, less intense. And eventually there's nothing there. It doesn't make a difference whether they reject you or thing, because the infinite presence, <clears throat> which was being obscured by the idea that you need validation or to run away from aversion, it collapses. And so it becomes an irrelevant thing that gives you an up and down reaction to the world. Um, so that's on the level of... Um, uh, if you're to use the uh, field of feelings tool, or you could use the counseling, you could use the self inquiry, as as Ramana uh, teaches. So, let's say there's a feeling that there's a me, a separate me, uh, my thoughts and my body, and then there's another body uh, that either is say say rejecting me, not not showing their their approval of me. Then I could say, well, um, what am I? Am I, am I, am I, uh, what am I that is feeling bad? You know, am I the feeling of feeling rejected? Or is there a witnesser of the, of the feeling of rejection? Okay, there is a witnesser. So am I, the, is the rejection me? Or am I that which watches? And is the watcher or the witnesser feeling rejected? And you experience that, you know, uh, if the, and if the, if, if the observer is feeling rejected, well, what's observing an, uh, a, a rejected observer, if that exists, you see? And then eventually you'll get to a place through your own experience where there, there's a, there is, a, if you like, the heart, the infinite stillness, the, the oneness, uh, that infinite, the infinite beyond limitation, which doesn't experience it. And so it's just washed off as an illusion. That, that was nothing that happened there. So, or if it's a story, like there's thoughts going around in the head, oh my God, this person doesn't like me, I feel bad, this person doesn't, if the thoughts, well, are you those thoughts? So why don't you inquire? Are you the thoughts? Or are you the observer or the witnesser of the thoughts? And if you are the witnesser of the thoughts, does the witnesser, is the witnesser suffering from thoughts? Is the witnesser a thought? And if the witnesser is a thought or suffering from thoughts, well, what's witnessing that? And is that being tormented by thoughts of rejection? So you can wash it out with self-inquiry. Eventually you realize you're washing out, as, as you say, you're washing out the um, you're washing out the drama from the ego, and then you're realizing you're not that. And when you realize you're not that and experience that you're not that, it collapses. You, you're, you're freed of the duality. So as you keep using any tool then uh, reject, for example, the, the rejection aversion, attraction aversion will collapse within the ego and it, won't, it will no longer trouble you. And you do that with every single other, um, what do you call it? You called it a craving. Yes, 
these are the cravings or the attractions, the versions of the e ego. You know, it craves validation. It has an aversion to rejection. It craves donuts, has an aversion to lettuce. So uh, you, you dissolve the dualities through whichever method you're, you want to use until it's totally dissolved and doesn't obscure the infinite truth, the infinite heart, the stillness, the love of what you really are in truth. Once And once you experience that, it's far better than being hooked into the cycle of being addicted to the limiting ideas of, of the ego and the ups and downs that it creates. I want validation, but I don't like uh, rejection which is a normal a normal uh, dual, dualistic response uh, of the human ego. So, um, yeah, the heart, you know, the heart, you know, if, if you, if, as you let go of these things, if the heart has any limitation or experience of separation, then the, the, you could say um, that's what's remaining of the ego that's craving, that's still allowing that uh, existence of separation to still exist. So you just use one of the tools to collapse that and remove that until only that which is beyond all limiting ideas, all cravings, all aversions remains. Uh, the heart, you know, the infinite heart, uh, which is free of all suffering. Okay, so I'll stop.